Jump up here. Okay, let's see if he can do it. Yep, yep. <laughs> jeez, okay. I'm stuck on his <laughs> rump! Whoa, okay. Uh, no, whoa, no, no, no! Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey guys, it's Adam E.K. Swimming Bird, and welcome to The Last Guardian for PS4. Danielle's here with us. Hello. As well as Trico, if you somehow missed him there. <laughs> this is part two, so if you missed the beginning of the game, please check that out. Put a link down in the description for you. So we just escaped the cave, and now we're trying to escape Trico before no. <laughs> he eats us. No. <laughs> he loves us already, I think. We fed him a bunch of Trico treats, his favorite glowing barrels, and now he's going <laughs> to follow us anywhere or get distracted by that giant tower and all the hanging weird, mysterious bubbles all over the place. Yeah. Okay, so we got our own problems, though. We got to climb our way over here. <laughs> I think this kid, he looks a little scrawny, but he's got pretty good upper body strength. He can <laughs> scrabble over a chain. Yeah, there doesn't seem to be a grip meter or anything. That so. is nice. So, like, unlike Shadow of the Colossus, you don't have to worry too much about grip or anything like that. You can focus on the puzzles and training your Trico to listen <laughs> to you. There he goes. Okay, careful, buddy. He's kind of jumping on these rock piles, but how else is he going to get over here? He's got good balance, though. He is like a cat, and it is very much like herding cats to get him to listen <laughs> to us at this point, but I think over time he'll he'll listen more and he'll, you know, follow our commands a little better. So let's mm. see if we can get him to follow us all the way over here. Come on, buddy. You're okay. Aww. <laughs> he knocked into whatever that is. Very much like a cat, he's just messing with things that are hanging. <laughs> okay, I think he's good. Come on, one last jump. You can do it, buddy. If we hold the call button and we uh, move around, he's like, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> I love how he runs in place. And this is about as far as I've gotten in the game. This, this little door here that we can use. His special tail laser on. There Whoa. he goes. All right, that's gonna break our way through destroyed a monument to himself, but Whoa. that's okay. We now have a path into wherever that is. We're just Oop. trying to, Whoa. okay, well, either way. <laughs> <laughs> We're trying to escape to return to our people, and it's kind of like, you know, Trico is the dog that doesn't want to leave us, alone. like it's following us home, so. <laughs> if we gotta have this cool pet, then, you know, so be it. I think we'll be okay with some of these drops. This kid's pretty resilient, but I don't want to fall all the way down there. Trico, you okay, buddy? You want to walk over that? Oh, he looks afraid. Hopefully he's not too heavy. Yeah. It's lighter than he looks, I think, because he can kind of balance. and. Maybe he's got hollow bones like a bird. Oh, I didn't think about that. There's not much wing weight on him either way. But yeah, it seems like hopefully he would catch himself if he fell too, much like a cat. <laughs> All right, come on, Trico. So this this whole place, I'm, I'm kind of curious. Obviously, we were kind of trapped in there, and he was chained up, but I do wonder if it's like an old prison. Yeah, it has that vibe. There's bars and cell doors and everything. And then you noticed something about the tower that we left off last episode outside near. Um, yeah, the, like, one cell... <laughs> <laughs> you can't fit through. Like, the idea of one central tower reminded me of this, um... I think it's from the 18th century or something, was the idea of a panopticon, which was um, a money-saving <laughs> thing of having one tower so that one watchman can, like, take care of, like, observe a whole prison almost. Mm -hmm. And um, the, the also the idea of it was that, like, the inmates aren't supposed to ever see the people like keeping them there so that way they don't know when they're being watched so then Creepy. they they have to assume that they're always being watched and maybe we're being watched yeah <laughs> well we are <laughs> like the fact that you're not seeing anyone around it's yeah i don't know there's layers of like we're like the the wardens watching <laughs> them and then the people watching on youtube or that yeah i guess um that type of prison like that design wasn't actually put in place much. I, I don't know that much about it past that. There we go. All right. So, yeah, there's the, like, come and, come and follow me command. <laughs> you can tell them to jump. You can be like, hey, look at this over here and kind of point. And you can also tell them to attack, which that makes oh. me a little worried about, you know, if there's going to be enemies Maybe we are going to end up here. seeing something. If we can get him to attack that. I don't know if he's going to do it, though. Hey, hit that. Right there. 
He's confused. <laughs> Let's just get him to use, you know, the good old fashioned tail laser. Because I know there's a Trico treat underneath that waiting for him. There, we okay, geez, buddy. Watch your aim. <laughs> you almost got me with it. Okay, oh, nope, nope. You're good. Just one laser will do you. Okay, let me see if we can get under there. Oh, he might not have blasted the right spot. Let me give it one more shot here and break through. I should not be this close to it. This will be interesting. He seemed to be okay with, it was like glowing red hot and then the kid seemed okay. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm just more worried about getting hit by the laser. Mm -hmm. There we go. Yeah, the kid doesn't care about the heat, but getting hit by it might not be the best thing in the world. Okay, come on, buddy. Let's take this down Treat here. Time. So many butterflies. Yeah, he, Trico is gonna fatten up on butterflies rather than <laughs> whatever these barrels are. Come on. I did notice that, yeah, its horns glow very similarly to the treats, treat and, barrels. And the butterflies, yeah. I wonder if they're linked somehow. Hmm. I thought that he would maybe, yeah, I didn't realize he was going to shoot lasers from his tail, obviously, but the uh, the horns looked like they would have some power to him. We'll probably discover that later. Why don't you tell me the things you do? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to let him eat that. There we go. Now he's in a good spot for me to climb him. Because I think there is something up here. There's a couple ledge ledges, but, you know, once we get up there, then I have no idea what we're, <laughs> we're going to expect because I just wanted to play long enough to test the controls out, and it was, it was tough stopping. But obviously Whoa. I was like, we got to play this together. So let's see if we can make this jump. There we go. Thanks, buddy. The, yeah, at this point, since he's not really listening to us fully, we kind of just are like, okay, send him towards where we need to climb on him or where we need him to do something and then hope he kind of follows bribing him with treats just like with the <laughs> real animal tends to work as well and there's another one for him yeah it's an Grab interesting that. way of doing a puzzle game where you can't just do everything yourself it is a yeah it's a weird ooh, don't blast this it is like <laughs> a weird combination like eco you had your character and the girl that you were traveling with and that was kind of like okay you guys have to work together but this is like a very, very crazy dynamic of having a boy and this giant creature <gasps> together that you, you know, they are very different in size and abilities, so it can be kind of kind of cool to see how you're going to get both of them into, like, a certain spot. Let's see if I can get him to move over here. Come on, buddy. Yeah, I love the little thing he does. How about you stand right here and kind of go towards that a little bit? That would definitely help me out if we can use him to get up there. He'll probably move towards it. I think he tends to go towards where you want to go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, he's scratching. Okay, if I can quickly jump on him before he moves his head too much, we should be okay. Oh, thank you, buddy. That's a little too... There we are. All right, so let's hop our way up. Yeah, all of these... That's another thing, too, with having so many giant jumps and this kid being so small, it's like... Every one, I kind of hold my breath a little bit, and I'm like, I hope he makes it. I don't want this kid dying in this prison. <laughs> if he falls too far, I think he can get pretty hurt, but so far we've been okay. Just gonna sidle my way up. Yeah, this is as far as I went before, so this will be interesting. I'm gonna try to see if we can jump There's onto chain, yeah. this chain. There we go, yeah. <laughs> Every jump is just, phew. Okay, we're good. I'm gonna just scrabble our way up. This kid could use some good shoes, too, because this place doesn't look like it's that great for tiny feet. It but makes for better climbing to have grip uh, Yeah, I toes. guess so. Okay. Oh, let's see if we can get him up here, because this looks big enough for a Trico to fit in. Come on, buddy. Jump. Jump. Where is he? He's somewhere down there. We'll see if he's able to jump this high. I don't know, because this is a pretty, pretty big ledge up here. There he is. Hey, you see me? Yeah, I wonder if he, he has to be able to tell where I'm at. Jump up here. Okay, let's see if he can do it. Yep, yeah. <laughs> jeez, okay. That was faster than I was expecting. All right, so we made it through there. I've got some light here, so I bet we're going to have to blast something. There is, ooh, I see a barrel. Delicious barrel for my little buddy. There we go. Yeah, I don't know what to call it, like if we should, barrels, blue glowy goo, or... <laughs> Mountain Dew Voltage, or just Trico Treats. There you go. Butterfly special. Special barrels. <laughs> My special son. Oh, there we go. Yeah, we have to use this light here. Let him eat that. Okay, yep. Don't even have to look. I can tell by the shards of barrels spitting out of his beak. There we go. All right. Oh, 
Okay. We're through. Oh, it sounds like he's sad when he has to use it. I worry. Because it's kind of like we're making him into this weapon that he's probably not... He's not really in control of it. I think he sees the mirror and he's like, I gotta... I gotta blast it. Okay. Hmm. I wonder if we're gonna need to climb on him. Come here, buddy. Can you go in there? Oh, wait. Is that a little... Oh, you're right. Okay. I was gonna try to climb up here, but it looks like we have to crawl through. Yeah, it, it, there are advantages to being a tiny scrappy boy. You can <laughs> get through stuff without having to jump over it or, you know, get into a bad position where you're stuck and your little head's peeking out. Okay, okay. bye. Hey, buddy. <laughs> you gonna be able to get through there? Yeah, you're just staring at me. The music's coming in. Okay. It's a nice peaceful forest here. This yeah, is I don't, nice. I don't want to leave him behind too far, but I'm also curious where this leads. Trico. Is he going to make it across? He might not be able to make that joke. Okay. Yeah, he's here. All right. <laughs> he jumped he got over out it. of there. Okay, yeah. I think any jump that I assume he's not going to be able to make, he probably can. This is so nice. Look at this. Whoa. Got to be careful with how far. This kid tends to be like, whoa, 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 <laughs> jumping all over the place. So we got to make sure we're not going too crazy. There's that tower. Yeah. And where's my Trico? Precious Trico. Where is he? He's back here somewhere. I never have to worry about him being too far behind because I think he'll just kind of sneak his way up. Now, where do we want to go here? Ooh, not that way. <laughs> it's so dense with trees that it's a little hard to tell where we should be heading. Yeah, there's all these gates and things. A bunch of rocks. Water? Hmm. Yeah, the game would probably lead us towards something with water and a thing that'll steer our sight in the direction we need to go. Might be around the other side. I completely lost him. Where is he? He's oh, there he is. He's at the cliff where I was. I bet we're gonna have to climb up onto something. Like, there's that giant pillar thing that was going across. Where is it? Hmm. Well, I might play around here and see if we can find the right direction. Oh. Trico seems to want to jump up this way. Let's try to climb up him. I'm stuck on his rump! Whoa! Okay. So this is the opposite side that we came out of originally where we crawled through. And, oh, here we go! When in doubt, trust your weird cat bird. Uh-oh. So there's one of those eyes I was talking about. And, uh, Trico. Trico? Yeah, oh. he does not like those. He's a little red. mad. Let's, uh, let's stay away from him, maybe. We gotta find a way to get rid of that, otherwise I don't think he is gonna want to follow us anymore. He's stuck there, transfixed. Is there any way to like? Yeah, it mm. looked like there was like a handle or something weird on it. But oh wait, oh maybe. Okay, I was gonna say, if we find something, maybe we can break it. But here's a secret little barrel. I do wonder. So it seems like the more we feed him, the more happy he's gonna be, and he'll recover his strength. But I do wonder if. We get some bonus for, you know, feeding him mm. all of the barrels. Because a lot of them are kind of hidden. It, it seems like you might be able to miss a lot of them. So, I don't know. Oh, wonder if I could use the mirror on it and try to get him to attack it. That might not work if he's kind of mad right now. But there's a barrel for him. Okay, let's try this out. See if I can get him to hit it. Oh, but wait. see, there's something. Something. Yeah. Yeah, he's... Attacking it, but yeah, there we go. It okay, aha. I figured. I thought we would have to throw something at it. It just maybe, looked but. like yeah. There's that handle. I wonder if you could have pushed it off. Oh, maybe there's all alternate ways to do it. Here you go, buddy. You want this? Have that as a good reward for not whoa freaking out too much. There he goes. All right. So we got that done. Where are we headed next? Possibly. Ooh, jeez. Yeah, this place is huge. It seems so daunting for this little kid to to make his way through all this stuff. I wonder... Because, yeah, he Trico just seems naturally, like, curious about where we might want to go. Like, is he going to try to jump that again? So we should ride on him and have him carry us over. I'm stuck in his armpit. <laughs> He's really mad about something. Yeah. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Let me get off of here. Oh, we didn't go through this, did we? No. What is up here? He was mad about whatever it is. There's some light, or... Was there an eye back there? Because I didn't see any. 
He's just kind of cautiously. He's okay. Yeah, he's okay. Maybe he was just mad because I was tickling his armpit. <laughs> All right. Let's see. So we got, yeah, so many of this area is, uh, is blocked off where it does feel like long ago maybe there were Trico's lining these hallowed halls. <laughs> but now most of them have broken free. Or This is the last guardian, so I do wonder, yes. Yeah, is Trico the last of his kind? Or maybe we're the... The twist would be that we're the last guardian and we're trying to guard our little baby Trico. Okay. Whoa. You okay, buddy? What's wrong? Is that a signal for me to jump on you? He seems like... I need a good, reliable way to get up on him without getting stuck in an armpit or something. Maybe his tail would be good. Because that keeps me away from... Ooh, that wasn't a good noise. You okay, little... Yeah. Okay, he's going to jump. He looks like he's... I need to hold on. Grab on, little one. Okay, go for it. Or is there something he just doesn't oh, like Oh, I don't know. Hmm. hmm. He might be mad about What's something. What's he looking at? Let's climb up and see if we can get a uh, nice jump onto a ledge or something. There is, like, a ledge there. He's really sad about something. There might be an eye looking at him. Where do we want to go? Are we jumping on? I, could... I wonder if that ledge is... I could try to this. Whoa. Okay. Oh, jeez. No. <laughs> grab on. Oh, okay. <laughs> he did kind of grab, Oops. and then he fell. Yeah, What? when you start the game, it has these weird symbols, and you have to, like, try to hit a button to uh, attack them, and it's weird. It's like I'm trying to fight against them to destroy all of them to wake up or something. There we go. All right. So we're back here. Not too far back. Okay. I do wonder... <laughs> what he was looking at. He might be trying to steer us in the right direction, but you gotta try sometimes. Sometimes you just gotta leap off a ledge and hope you land in the right spot. This looks kind of curious here. I do wonder if we need, oh, we're not gonna jump down that far. <laughs> yeah. And there's gotta be something to this little spot. Maybe it isn't anything, I don't know. He kind of followed me over here, but I do wonder if we could go the other way. It just is very, very mysterious why that would be there if we didn't need it. So, yeah. Oh, wait. Is this? Oh, no. It's a, I thought it was, like, something to push. But this door seems <laughs> <laughs> definitely not. Okay. <laughs> I wonder if we can... Oh, we could probably go around and get to that, right? Isn't there, like, a thing that leads over? That might Yeah, just... there was that small Hmm. Spot. It didn't look like it linked through, but let me see. Because it looked like something I would have to open for him to go in. So let's try this. Let's see if this leads anywhere. Oh, yeah, there's a door right here. Can we open this or no? <laughs> nope. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So let's see. Any other openings or are we just kind of... It was probably just the secret there, finding that barrel. All right. Hmm. That's got to be the way we, we need to go. I just don't know if we need to try to open that door or... Hey, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> He's just hanging out. He's really... He gets worried when we disappear. I wonder yeah. what we need to do. There is light there, which always makes me think i got to use that mirror to do something. Can you climb on him and get up there? To the windows, maybe? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's try that. That seems like that would work. Come over here. Do a little clap dance. <laughs> Go to that. Come he back to, up here. Aw, he had to turn himself around, I think, because he got... And do the hooky pokey. <laughs> he stuck his claw out. But yeah, he uh, he can get stuck, I think, in these tunnels or not able to turn, at least, because he's so big. All right. So come on, right over here. Right here. Right there. Here we go. Hey, I think he picks up the pace a little bit. If I do my little pee-pee dance where I like, have, to to, have to go to the bathroom looking... Dance. There we are. Okay. He doesn't seem to like when I climb on his head, but it's the best way to get close to some of these spots. Oh, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. It's okay. It's okay. Can I, I can pet him with circle. I forgot about that. Oh. So I can just kind of say like, hey, it's okay. It's all right. Don't get me stuck on here, buddy. Oh, yeah, I think we're too far from that, possibly. Go right there. Right over there. So I can leap to that ledge. We're so stuck. <laughs> yeah, you might have to try to get him to... Oh! Yeah, he's a little too far away, I think. Come he here. Might, he'll move a little closer Come here. Now. Right here. Oh, now he's trying to get me to... Oh! 
You tease. <laughs> He's trying to get me to jump and grab onto him. Okay, Trico, stay still. There we go. Whoa. Oh, jeez. Okay. That was close. You were right, though. Jump across, and we'll try to sidle our way over. Yeah, this is scary. Do we want to go that way, or do we want to? Yeah. I guess this is the the way that we want to go, because the other, the other spot doesn't seem to be where we want to head. Yeah. Got to hang on. Okay. We're good. We're good. So, oh, I bet we go through the other window, not this one, because this is another one that was accessible. But I bet we're going to go all the way to that one and then jump in, and we can unlock the door for him or get him to jump over. Oh. Okay. Maybe. Yeah. At first, I was wondering why we were even out here, because it's so, <laughs> it's so treacherous. But I think that's what we're going to do. Yeah, there's a lot of a lot of puzzle solving and trial and error, trying our best to uh, to figure out what to do. So thanks for bearing with us, guys. Okay, and then if we push the opposite direction, I think we can jump across. If it'll let me. Can or you jump just... while you're holding onto something like that? I think so. <gasps> well, that works too. <laughs> as scary as it is. All right, get up there, buddy. Up. Yeah. All right, and I hope this window leads to a spot. Oh no, is it locked? Oh, there we okay. go. Okay. Yeah. Can we jump down or? Ooh, whoa. This is scary. I think we can make this fall, right? This well, is... there's another ledge. Okay, yeah. Let's take it. A little, <laughs> take it a little slowly. <laughs> so that's. This seems scary. That'll do it. And then can we drop to that? Oh no, that's okay. Either way, we're good. All right, and there's a lever. Okay, we solved it. Yeah. Yeah, that was a little tough because we have to, we have to be able to see where Trico is uh, kind of guiding us and where we can get to from having a little boost. But we figured it oh, out. There's another barrel. Yeah, we're gonna have to blast that. Okay, let's give him a treat for all the help, for all the times he tried to <laughs> put, squish me into the ceiling. Oh. There we are. These are all like lodged in. Like, how old is this place and how long have these barrels been sitting here? Excuse me, buddy. Back it up, back it up. <laughs> We're going this way. Come on. Okay, I'll set this down. I want to let him eat it before he does this because otherwise he'll. Uh... Oh no! <laughs> Come here. Eat this first. Get your reward and then you can do your trick. Yeah, he's stuck. He needs to turn around. He knows. He's a smart little one. There, you know, for all the the times we kind of struggle to to get his help, it does seem like he's very smart about a lot of this stuff. And yeah. He's clever enough to. Is he going around? Right after I commended his intelligence, <laughs> I hope he's not going like all the way around and popping up over here or something, because that would be crazy. Where'd you go, Trico? Where are you? Oh, there he is. The okay. butterflies Come are on. gonna eat it if you don't. Yeah, they'll slowly. <laughs> Slowly break their way into the barrel. There you go. Get that. Get that right there. Got to kind of let him do his thing and not call him too much when the barrel is here. I think if I pick it up and then set it down, that kind of brings his attention to it. There you go. Don't whine. You can have it. Eat it up. There we go. All right. And now, without further ado, it's time for Trico's magical laser tale of death. Break on through. <laughs> Yeah, he kind of roars like I do wonder if it bothers him using it. Not from embarrassment, just <laughs> probably like he doesn't like that he's being commanded to use this thing that is like out of his control a Whoa. little bit. Feels like we're exploiting him. Oh, what is... It's, Whoa! Yeah. That's creepy. Okay, I wonder if we're going to jump down here. I'm a little worried though. Beast was scared of something. Hmm. Is it? Ooh, what is that? Ugh. That's weird looking. Probably some type of generator for it, maybe. And that is... Weird door. Yeah. What is he, what is he afraid of? Trico, what's wrong? Trico, what's wrong? He said the exact same. Can you... Is he gonna jump down here? Or is he... Ooh, these might be the cages that they use to keep them or something. Because look. Oh no! Uh oh. He hates that sound. I just know it. Yeah, he is, uh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, his horns. They're interacting with it. Okay, come on. Oh, I'm walking on his foot. Oh my gosh. 
No, no, no. I'm your friend. I'm your friend. I'm your buddy. I'm gonna make that thing stop. Oh, somehow. he is he is trying to eat me. Possibly. No, no, no. Trico. Oh, oh my gosh. Um Well, we said friendship. it right at the beginning of the video. <laughs> he ate me. Oh no. We got to figure out how to stop that from inside his belly now. Oh. Oh, what the What? Whoa, that did not look good. We're so cold and scared. Maybe that's what's supposed to happen. Is he just protecting us? He's gonna barf us up later. Yeah, something. There's our people. The ones who stabbed him with spears. Yeah, are you seeing, like, Trico's mask? Oh, maybe. But we saw the eyes of a Trico, though. Hmm. Strange. getting some of his flashes of his backstory. So I bet those cages were used to either make them attack stuff, like the, sh like the mirror that we're using, or maybe they're just ways to contain them. And It seemed to really rile him up, though. It wasn't something you would usually want to use to contain something and keep it calm. Well, we're alive. Did he? Did he barf us up? Off camera? Aww. I don't hold it against ya. He's so sad and tired. That's weird, yeah. Maybe we can teleport using our special tattoos. I don't know. It turned off. Yeah. Oh, it's still there, though. The glowing mirror. Mine, when last I looked, was nowhere to be found. Oh! It's inside of him, maybe. <laughs> Trico. I'm gonna pet your wound. Hmm. Wake up. Oh no. So this isn't going to open, probably. Yeah. No shoves will open that. I guess we're going to have to follow this path. Mm -hmm. Now we have to deal without, you know, with, with losing our ability to hit stuff with lightning. So we might not be able to attack and mess with stuff as easily. Didn't I see a lever in the cutscene? I thought I saw a lever somewhere here that would open up. Oh, there it is. How do we get up to that? Hmm. Can we climb on any of this stuff? Or nope. Hmm. Yeah, there's got to be a way up. Maybe. Yeah, that's all open. But I don't know if I want to make that jump. <laughs> Definitely. That's, that's scary. Seems yeah. a little too extreme. Trico, I need your help, buddy. Can you can you shimmy to that over there? Or? To where? Hmm. Never oh wait. Mind. I, wonder if, I was gonna say, can we climb on his tail? Cause it's dangling over. What if we need to use his tail to uh ooh, ooh. <laughs> to get down here or something? Oh. Oh Aha. maybe. Ah, all right. Yeah, a lot of this stuff seems to be related to what he is doing, like, you know, his his body and being able to uh use his limbs and his tail to do stuff. There we are. All right. Well, now we're stuck. No. <laughs> There's got to be a way through here, right? We got all the way down. Oh, wait. Right here? Yeah, what's that? Oh, yeah, we're going to climb through, it looks yeah. like. And just kind of squeeze our way underneath. Weird. Is this like the passage that the humans would use to get between the Trico cages? Hmm. <laughs> There's a lot of, lot of questions and not too many answers so far, but it's keeping me intrigued with this world and exactly what happened here. All right. Well... I think we're going to need at least two to three butterfly barrels to make him feel better after that. He probably feels horrible, you know, inside emotionally from eating us. Whoa. Uh-oh. Uh Those look like Trico people. They have horns and yeah. something in the armor's ill-omened air told me to keep my distance. I think we've found the enemies that Trico's going to attack, maybe. Oh, no. But we don't have him to help us. So we're going to have to go it alone. So we'll stay away from them, basically. Try to hide. Okay. Let's see if we can sneak through here. Can they see through the vent? Or do wonder. I think as long as we don't go up there, we should be okay. Yeah. They're probably not detecting underneath. So, ooh, yeah, we got some choices here. Do we want to go down there? Or straight ahead? I guess let's try this side. Tends to uh, the game tends to lead us towards things that glow or 
have light? Oh boy. Oh jeez. <laughs> well, well, that's glowing. I think I'm gonna keep heading towards the glow because that just always seems to be the way to go so far. But this is really. That's what they want you to think. Yeah. No. It's all <laughs> leading us into a trap. But yeah, the uh, the tunnel here, all these little confined spaces. I'm not that claustrophobic, but it does kind of mess with me. This isn't where we came. Okay, here we go. A ladder. Yeah. Can we? We can climb it. Okay. It seems like it's meant for a much larger person, or maybe a creepy suit of armor. Uh, Lever. Yeah. Oh, okay. I was about to say we don't want to go in there with the armor, but we do want to pull this. That was the whole point of getting over here. That might just open the door, though, and we gotta help our buddy. Oh. Okay, well, are we gonna run through there? Are we gonna make a run for it? It looks like there's another ladder on the other side. On the other like, side? Yeah, like, the other side of that area. Like, oh. I think if the, you went a different way under. I wonder if we should sneak through here or just run. Because... Uh, his armor. Uh, no, no, whoa, no! Whoa, 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 whoa! Oh, no. ah! oh my gosh! Ah, ah, ah. Oh, it's the things! It's the things we were just seeing! Hit him! Hit him! Break really out! Creepy. Oh, oh my, my gosh! Goodness. No, no, no! What are they doing to me? They're shooting me with their horns! Oh, my tattoos are glowing! This is cool, but also very, very creepy. How do they I got, get out of here? They got all long and uh, weird. Trico! Trico! Wake up! Come here, come here! Attack command, attack command! Come on! Oh, get him, get him, get him! Oh, okay. <laughs> this is like your big brother saving you from a bully. Yeah! Get him, get oh. him! Careful, be careful now, he's hopping. Yeah! Whoa, he is really spry for a big Trico. <laughs> Largest Trico I've seen. <laughs> yeah, he woke up to save us! Whoa, 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 okay. Calm down. <laughs> Trico seemed greatly unsettled after the battle with the suits of armor. Yeah, they're telling me. I had to find a way to calm my companion's nerves without him throwing me off the side. Okay, okay, give me a sec, buddy. I just want to get to the pet, ledge. Pet, 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 oh, wait, we have to pet him. Oh, no, now I got to get back on him. I was trying to get on the other side of him. Don't, don't, no, 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 it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. I'm petting your belly. You love your belly rubs, don't you? Yeah, yeah. Calm down, calm down. Here we go. It's all good. Petting the nook between your wings that you love so much. Hmm. Yeah, he's okay. Good boy. <laughs> Aw, it's all right. He's so happy now. He's glad that we're okay. He doesn't like us on his head though. Let me get off of here. See ya. Oh, gee, <laughs> fell. <laughs> Aw, all right, we did it. The armor's dead, Trico's alive, and I'm very happy. I wasn't expecting happy. those things to get all long and weird. Ugh, God, <laughs> yeah, that was creepy. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching. I think we're gonna head over to this chain, and this is where we're gonna start the next episode. Please leave a like if you enjoyed this. Oh, Aw, with a stuck he Trico. Come. He's all right, we'll find a way to get to him. Thanks for watching again, guys. If you wanna subscribe, there'll be more Last Guardian on the way. And we'll see you next time for more. Goodbye. Bye.